Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video we will be doing hero showcase and that hero is going to be Elena. So currently we're on my free to play because on my main account I don't have her. I mean I do have her but I haven't uh, built her and on free to play I got her E5. So yeah. So first time when I started this account my first three heroes were were double Elaina and I think it was it was Mutu. So Mutu and two Elainas. So yeah, let's get over her kit. So basic attack deals two hundred percent defense damage to a single enemy and trans transfers all self debuffs to them, reduces the target's defense by thirty percent for two turns if no deb debuffs are transferred so this is huge so like if you have like imagine every possible cc or other debuff you have on her other than stun or 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 freeze so you can transfer all those def debuffs to a single enemy so that's pretty amazing then her first active skill deals 140 defense damage to all enemies and removes all of their buffs so this is also huge so she got strip buffs on her first active skill then passive light of order reduces the crit damage taken by all, by all allies by 14 or I mean 18 percent when Elena survives when multiple skills yada 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 so reduces crit damage taken by 18% is amazing and then so and then when you skill her up will be 26 so 26 taking reduces crit damage by 26% is pretty pretty good and then her ultimate cleanses all attribute debuffs of all allies and restore, restores HP by 12% of, of, of max HP to all allies so this is also big. It cleans all defense down, speed down, attack down, which is which is great. So yeah, now let's go over her exclusives. So Shield of Evil, that's her first active skill. So there is also 70% chance to reduce all enemy speed by 40% so she gonna remove all buffs and then she gonna reduce their speed by 40% so, which is amazing then light of order is her passive increases the crit damage of all allies by the same amount of crit damage reduced of all enemies so they will re she will she will reduce crit damage of enemies and she will increase crit damage of allies so she will show so dps gonna deal more more damage so for example ulcas are gonna deal more more crit damage so 26 percent more crit damage and then last an exclusive level 3 shield of good that is her ultimate. Additionally, grants all allies shield by 30% of Elena's max HP for two turns. So this is great for P PVE. Gonna grant shield of 30% of her max HP, which is huge. So yeah, like if you're gonna use her so for R for PvP, you can use her at E0 because she gonna remove all, all buffs no matter if she is E1 or not then for E then once she is E1 she gonna reduce speed that is also good in PvE then sec level 2 exclusive is PvP and then level 3 exclusive is for PvE and then she becomes so good uh, so how do we build her so as you know this is my free to play so my gear is not that great here here you want speed hp rate and defense rate so that's all you need 
so you usually build her fast and tanky so speed here then here I personally I wouldn't recommend to build uh, her uh, with effect hit she doesn't need it just just HP and speed so here it, it will be better if it if it is um, HP but do I have any nah, HP but no speed effect res even, even effect res would be great for like um, for arena and this is a little bit more speed so sure why not then here you want HP or defense prob probably HP because she her shield will be bigger so HP HP means that and here speed with HP rate then here you, you can go so I would recommend you to go feather set for HP and speed but those pieces are disgusting so yeah here I have like speed and the effect here created a speed like a little bit of speed here I got speed effect hit but yeah you, you mainly just want HP and then when you take a look at mine it's only 40k but keep in mind I haven't played this account for a while so that's why uh, then when we get to auras I'm currently using speed mark aura that is maxed um, you can when you're star starting you could use ur urgent treatment aura so she gonna heal she gonna heal more then for rare you could use this one so she gonna restores self HP epic one like either speed or 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 recovery horn could be great on her and then when it comes to legendary aura most likely I mean, magic toucher could be great on her resources. But it's her, so self HP, yeah, not really. So most likely speed or or combat wonder aura because when you use her f uh, active skill, first active skill, she gonna deal damage, so she will inflict. In inflict uh, deep damage but I would recommend speed or even survival aura is okay but mostly you want her speed then uh, emblems nothing special here like sp you want speed a little bit of effect hit even you, you don't need it that much defense and that is it pretty much here so sh she reduces the cooldown of this skill by one turn it's, it could be great and that's it for emblems so now where do I use her so obviously firstly I use her in in arena let's see I will get destroyed by this team. Let's see if Burn is gonna beat my free to play account. So, uh, I don't need this. We have Santa, him, him, him. Um, let's do this. Alright, let's see. So, I'm faster so what I'm gonna do is um so usually I'll just do this increase my speed do this so this pen is not even about about 100% I'll 
Alright, let's see. And it's time, nice. This feels so great, this feels so great. And now I'm just gonna remove all buffs and freeze. Do that, do that. So, yeah, she is just there to remove buffs. Like, she is old school hero that removes buffs. Um, and then, let's go to here. So, infection, Abyss, obviously. Where is Wallet Parliament? Here. So, I mean, I have no one else here but her. But, so, she soloed all way up till this point. So, she soloed it till stage uh, 12. Um, then, Elemental City. I haven't really touched it, but also I run something like this, 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 this and this. So for perma freeze, and then later on I remove her to add her, her and that's it. Um, then obviously in in dungeons I'm using her. So let's test her here, stage 28. Uh, um, let's put her. So let's see how will this go. So she has speed down and then she puts speed down on him. So oh. that is <coughs> so that is so good like she is the only hero I think that transfers uh, debuffs to enemy put the shield shield And then poison is gone, obviously she got it back because she attacked him. Walter, thanks to her, his passive. But that's it pretty much, they're all dead. And then let's do this, freeze. Oh! 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 Uh. Do this. Uh, this is gonna be painful. And and now I'm gonna so she get those those two rivers, and I will just put those on her. And this is gonna be painful, and I'm dead. So yeah, but that's how she works, and she's kind of uh, sh sh she is so underrated in my opinion. She is so underrated in my opinion and she is such a great hero e even though she is kind kind of outdated because we have heroes like uh, Gilliman now and and Melchior that removes buffs even Tantos but no one is using him uh, I don't have any scrolls for him but yeah so yeah guys pretty much that was it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it